Having a relationship with such an independent person may be difficult at first, but this can actually be a very beneficial practice for a couple. While INTJs definitely like to have a close bond with their partners, they also have a desire to see both individuals in the relationship developing a healthy sense of self-reliance and personal space. Here are 10 things INTJs want in a relationship. Number 10. Intelligence. INTJs are attracted to intelligence and they value it more than a lot of things in a relationship, but a big part of that is being able to have deep intellectual conversations about things they are both interested in and the emotional maturity to be a good partner in a relationship. INTJs are highly intelligent, they know it, and they are also often misunderstood by most. That is why they value intelligence, so that they can connect with the other person well. Intelligence does not necessarily mean extremely smart. The only requirements are knowledge in areas that INTJs are not familiar with. In a relationship, an INTJ wants to be able to learn things from the other person, and the other person should learn things from INTJ. This means they develop together and constantly help each other improve. Number 9. Loyalty. Being loyal in a relationship is one of the most sought-after qualities in a partner. INTJs definitely value loyalty and hold this as an extremely important part of any relationship. For them, if you're not loyal, they're not interested. If they are to enter a romantic relationship, they are spending a lot of their precious time and resources on it. They are not willing to enter one if you're likely gonna separate after a few years. They enter relationships with the expectation it would last a lifetime. Number 8. Space. INTJs truly despise it when it's mandatory for them to hang out with the other person all the time, just because they are a couple. For them, being a couple doesn't mean two halves melding into one. They are still two whole assured entities who can separate and not fall apart. Without plenty of space and time to themselves, INTJs can become drained and overwhelmed. They need this time to process their own inner thoughts and ideas. While some people might not naturally comprehend this need, the INTJ cannot simply ignore it. They need to set clear boundaries so that the people close to them realize they are serious. Having this time to themselves is not only relaxing and rewarding for the INTJ, but it is absolutely necessary. Number 7. Financial security. INTJs are not gold diggers, but they are pragmatic. They want their partners to be as successful in something as well, especially if they are pursuing their passion. To them, money represents security and independence, and the more money they have, the less underlying stress they have in their everyday life. They don't believe in the saying, love will keep us alive. Number 6. A sense of humor. When it comes to humor, not everyone appreciates the same style, and so this can create many misunderstandings. INTJs can have a dark sense of humor at times, especially if it is tied into sarcasm. They definitely gravitate more towards a sarcastic sense of humor, or something a bit more biting. Sometimes people can be put off by their sense of humor, since they are not really afraid of offending people. INTJs don't find all dark humor funny simply because it is dark or edgy, they are much more particular than this. They prefer humor that is pointed and witty, something which clearly took some thought to construct. If the jokes showcase a good sense of humor, as well as intelligence, the INTJ will find this much more entertaining. They enjoy using their minds and their knowledge as a means of twisting things into something funny. This humor can be dark, because it can be truly honest, and even push people outside of their own little worlds. Number 5. Independence. This isn't normally demanded by INTJs, but if you are to date one, it comes as a requirement. While some INTJs tend to be clingy, they also need time alone to do things they find interesting on their own, and will drift off onto their own world, even without warning. 
throwing away their personal independent development while in relationship results in complete deterioration and change of personality. One who is ready to throw away everything from previous experience, give away the sign of a poor character. Number 4. Attachment. As most people know, INTJs can seem cold or emotionless on the outside. They are normally not very skilled at expressing their emotions, so it can produce a dulled-down response to things when compared with others' reactions. However, INTJs have introverted feeling. This means when they do feel some kind of emotion, they feel it very deeply. This means that although they are very logical and completely separate their emotions, they still have a longing for human interaction. This also means that they need to feel a sense of safety and protection. They don't like to admit this though, as they are very independent people, probably the most independent out of all the personality types. However, they need to find someone that they can feel like they can depend on for once. If they find this deep connection with someone, they may become a bit clingy and cuddly, simply because they feel so safe and comforted in their presence. If the other person is an INTJ as well, they may feel the same way. Number 3. Patience. It's something that most people seek for. Everyone wants to get quick returns, not only from relationship but in life as well. Patience is a must trait that every person should have. For INTJs, patience tends to be tied to interest or desire about something or someone. In the case of people, those they care little or nothing for, get the same treatment. And for those they do care about, INTJs can push the limits of their mental and physical health to help them in any way they can. Number 2. Emotional Security. INTJs won't have a lot of patience with a partner who has emotional outbursts on a regular basis. In fact, they'll probably just walk away if this happens too often. They tend to use their heads first, and they only let out their true emotions show when they trust that a person won't run away or stomp on them. INTJs also don't have too many emotional needs in a relationship. Sometimes they don't see the point of emotional support or validation, and so will struggle to give it as well. This can leave their partner feeling very abandoned and unloved, when the INTJ really just has no idea of how to help. INTJs are more likely to show their affection through spending quality time with their partner or doing things for them. Overly emotional displays are not on their radar. Number 1 adaptable to change. There's another part of the foundation to a healthy relationship that often ends up overlooked, and that's self-improvement. Any relationship, but a romantic one especially, depends on each individual involved in it. Relationships are based on exchanges, they cannot be healthy if there's no balance in the exchange, and there's no balance if one of the individuals constantly refuses to work on him or herself. Self-improvement is about getting in touch with who you really are and genuinely asking yourself if you are the best version of yourself. INTJs always try to self-improve and to fix their flaws, so naturally they would want at least the same efforts from their partner. When INTJs are ready for a long-term relationship, they go about it in a systematic organized way that reflects the way they do everything. This measured, reasoned approach may seem a little cold to other types, but to the INTJ it makes sense. After all, if you don't know what you really want, how are you going to get it? In a relationship, INTJs are loyal partners who work to keep the relationship and their partner happy, with the same organized calm, and this can bring them very healthy solid relationships that are designed to fulfill all of their needs. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.